Damn, it's a windy ass morning. Cold as hell too in the East Coast. Yeah, lucky mother efforts in the West. It's crazy out here. But anyway, Terrence Crawford, Kill Brooks, they had their little soiree yesterday um, in Las Vegas. Um, it was an interesting performance. Um, me personally, I was just my whole thing was you know if Terrence uh, Kell Brooks hadn't fought any meaningful opponent in over three years. Um, he hadn't been at 147 pounds in over th three years. So my question was, you know, is he going to be the same as far as a fighter? That's number one. And then number two, how is he going to be able to take those, you know, pretty much how is he going to be able to take those punches at 147 pounds? You know, because sometimes when you come down, you know, to those weights, you know, you're not going to necessarily have the same resistance as, you know, you usually would. You know, wasn't sure. So it's kind of one of those questionable fights, you know. Um, and the fight started off. You know, Kell Brooks was catching um, Terrence Crawford with a lot of shots. Um, pretty much everything. The jab, the straight right, you know. Sean, you know, Terrence Crawford's kind of kind of in front of him, in front of him. Taking a couple of hits, but, he, you know, throwing punches here and there. Wasn't throwing too much. Um... Starting to let his hands go a little bit more in the second round. Um, I think Terrence Crawford lost the first two rounds. Um, the third round, you know, caught Kell Brooks a little bit, and I was like, eh. And every time he caught Kell Brooks, I was like, eh. He better not take a hard shot, because if he does, it might, it might be a wrap for that boy real soon. And um, the fourth round came around, and that's what happened. He got caught with a shot, you know, got put down. Didn't get put down, but the ref kind of split them apart. Um, and then after that, he got hit a couple of times after that, and they stopped the fight. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know exactly, you know, what you're supposed to say about the performance. I know a lot of people want to get hype up about it. You know, they want, oh, he's pound for pound number one. Again, we have to remember that this is a guy who took two brutal beatings, um, both of them stoppages, and then... He didn't pretty much fight for three years. I mean, he fought like one or two fights against lower tier opponents um, at 154 pounds. And this was his first fight at 147 pounds in over three years. You know, so I'll say, you know, hats off to Terrence Crawford for handling his business. You know, because when you are facing someone like that, this is how you're supposed to take care of them. You're supposed to get them out of there. They're not supposed to give you any issues. They weren't supposed to give you any problems. And that was going to be the thing with this particular fight. There was no upside for this fight. This was, if you have any kind of problems, is you had issues with a wash-up Kell Brooks. You know, if you knock him out, it's, hey, you beat someone that was past his prime. You know what I mean? Who was washed up, who was, you know, shot-worn. We haven't seen him face anyone in a long time. You know, all those things. That's what it was going to be. There was just no upside to this. It was, this isn't a wow Look what he did type of situation. It's not. And um, he did what he is supposed to do. He did what he had to do. So I'll give him his congratulations um, when it comes to that. Um, what's next for him? I mean, I guess after the fight, um, well, Kell Brooks talking about retirement. That's number one. And when it comes to, you know, when it comes to... Um, Terrence Crawford, he's saying that he wants Manny Pacquiao next. That's the person that he's focused on getting. Um, that's the person that he wants. Um, he didn't mention Earl Spence at all. And I think that could should also kind of, the whole debate that was kind of going on with him wanting to go to PBC and and is this going to be the last fight with top rank and things of that nature. Um, I think if you look, listen to the way that he was talking after the fight, um, if you listen to the way that um, Bob Aaron was talking after the fight, <laughs> you know, oh, you know, yeah, you know, they want Manny Pacquiao next. And, um, you know, Earl Spence will never fight him. Errol Spence knows what is going to happen to him. Are you going to try to set the fight? Errol Spence will never take that fight. Blah, 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 blah. You know, things of that nature. You know, Terrence, Kel you know, Terrence Crawford talking about how, you know, he's not, quote, calling this people out. And if he fights him, cool. If he doesn't, he's content. So this whole story is about him, you know, being upset because he's not getting the fights that he wants and all this other stuff. You can kind of just cancel all that talk. Um, and it's very clear that 
it was all BS. You know, it's all just a situation where they were trying to, you know, bring interest to the fight. And when you're not trying to fight people, certain particular people, and you're not going to really be pushing the issue to fight them, and people know that because of the things you've been saying, you know, um, Sean Porter, what does he bring to the table? You know, Keith Thurman, where was he when he had a title? You know what I mean? You know, just things of that. And they, you know, who's Ugas and all the different reasons he's making out to fight these guys. When you know for a fact that he's not fighting these guys, you can't just come out with the, oh, I want to fight this guy. I want to fight that guy. You need to bring up a new narrative, you know. So I believe that's all it was. It was just a, just a new narrative. We're trying to draw people to the fight. And that was it. And um, now I believe it's a situation where it's going to be all this, oh, Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao. And he's not going to get the Manny Pacquiao fight. He's going to fight whoever it is I guess he's going to fight. But, you know, but at the end of the day, still, congratulations to him. He handled his business, um, got another win. And I guess we'll see whoever it is that he fights next and next and next and next and next on top rank. Um, and unfortunately, due to the fact that he is staying on top rank, I don't see him taking on any real competition. The next, I've said it a, a million times before, I'll say it again, the next two to three years, just kind of, it's going to be a situation where these are the level of opponents that he pretty much fights um, until he retires. You know, probably will fight a good six to eight more times, probably two, three more years, I'll, I'll say Terrence Crawford's going to fight. Um, he's going to keep fighting this level of opponents, and that's going to be it. Don't expect for him to fight. Don't expect to see him versus any top tier fighters at all. This, that right there, that you just saw, that's it. That's the peak. That's the peak of his career. And don't expect anything but that. It is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta close your eyes to BS. You gotta brush all this wishful thinking aside and all this emotional stuff and just do what the reality is, is. And the reality is he will not be fighting any top tier guy at all. Unless that top tier guy somehow happens to be on top rank. If that's not the case, it's not happening. Zero chance. And when he gets to a certain age and he's looking, uh, kind of like Lomachenko was, if the top rank can get a young guy who's doing his thing, they're just going to feed him to that young guy. And the cycle will continue after that. But for anyways, for now, like, subscribe, share, I'm out.